had. It's Maximus here. This is a little review of this uh, Lufkin, which is now owned by Crescent, which is like Cooper Tools or Apex Tools. This is an engineer's measuring tape. So the difference between this measuring tape and a standard measuring tape is the fact that this one, being engineers, has a standard fractional scale in inches through 12 inches, but also a decimal scale. So you can say it's 1.2 feet or 1.15 feet. And that's essentially the, the deal with this. This is a excuse me. And the reason they do that is because when you're dealing with engineering and doing calculating links and strengths and all that type of stuff, those calculations, of course, are done decimally. You uh, <laughs> rarely do fractional uh, calculations. And so they, these measuring tapes are just a convenience so you can get uh, your initial measurements in a decimal format. A little, this is made in China, unfortunately. As far as the overall, it does have uh, a rubber overmold, four screws. They do have a couple screws down here. One thing I will give them a little bit of credit for one is that they do include a provision to have a lanyard, which I think more measuring tapes probably should have. They do quickly remind you that it's three and a quarter inches from the front to the back of the measure. So if you're right here and you're doing you put it up against something that you're measuring you know that you need to add three and a quarter inches to your reading and I do actually appreciate that belt clip isn't real great super tiny screw holding it in it's, it's easy to get on and off but unfortunately it's so thin it'll be easy to bend and fall off but I was going to mention that one they do do a quad rivet secondly it does shift back and forth the whole point to that is, is so if you're pressed against something the measurements accurate but if you're pulling on something it shifts just a little bit to make up for the thickness of the foot the foot is a multi they call it a multi-directional foot so instead of just a standard foot like this you can grab on the top or on the normal spot excuse me you can grab on the bottom or you can even kind of hook onto the side so i kind of appreciate that the tape is has a very steep curve versus, and I'm using a Stanley Power Lock because these things are like an institution. It's also quite a bit long, uh, wider than the Stanley Power Lock. As far as the thickness of the tape, uh, I don't know if it's as thick. The other thing is like these Stanleys have a polyethylene coating on the tape. They call it Lifeguard. Where this doesn't seem to have a coating, so I'm not so sure how well this is going to hold up. But it is a thinner and slightly lighter weight tape. They make it wider and have a steeper U. It's hard for me to show on the camera, but you can certainly hear when a tape folds because it just makes, or if you're going backwards, it makes a loud pop. But this thing is actually really surprising because, and I'm gonna have to do it this way, and you'll just have to believe me. But this thing, surprisingly enough, and I will totally admit that seven feet, whoop, uh, I'm trying to keep this in frame because this thing has some standout. As a matter of fact, we're at, this is no joke, that's 10 feet of standout. Whoop, oh my god, this is like halfway across my apartment now. That is no joke. It is still standing out. There it goes. 11 feet of standout, which has got to be one of the highest amounts of standout that you can actually have on a measuring tape. The other thing that they do is they have this finger groove, so you can use it, hold it nice and easily, and then let it snap back. That's a common thing that you're doing with measure tapes, pulling it out, doing a measurement, and then letting it snap back. But of course the issue is, is sometimes you forget, and then the tape comes down and slams into your finger. I'm doing it shortly here, but if you have a lot of tape out, it can actually impact you quite a bit of force. So I kind of like this cutout opening. Even though it does, it's a big opening right here, it certainly can let a lot more debris into this unit, meaning that you'll have to take it apart and clean it when it doesn't want to uh, retract very well. But I do like the idea of being able to pull it out and then have it snap back and not have to worry about your finger getting crushed. It's generally not a good idea to totally allow it to snap back because that will cause the rivets to start to round out their holes. 
But besides that, I think it is a good idea. I actually like that little feature. I think that's pretty innovative. And actually, one other thing I was noticing is they actually have a hole right here. So you can put this on the edge of something and actually just tack it. I think that's kind of an interesting idea. So there's some good, I you know, I'm not a fond of a storage company like Lifkin just being bought out and sold. And now it's Chinese products when they were known for making just absolutely beautiful products. Here's an original Lufkin out of Signal, Michigan. And this thing goes along with my engineer's folding scale here. So I kind of like that. And as far, and this is an engineer's measuring tape or engineer's scale is what they call them. And so it was kind of neat to find one in a measuring tape. And so that's why I was excited to do this video. But as far as general use measuring tapes, I still recommend Stanley Power Locks just because uh, I've just seen them uh, in use so much. There's so many different measuring tapes. You can get exactly the one that you want. But for general people, uh, the Stanley Power Locks have just proven themselves the, to be reliable. That's really the deal. These things are reliable. And they, have, they can take a ton of cycles of the tape going in and out. Anyway, enough about that. Just wanted to share my opinions on this uh, Lufkin uh, Engineer Scale measuring tape. And I assume stand, you know, standard fractional ones, etc., are going to be using the same body. So I kind of two birds in one stone. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out. <laughs>